Hey everyone, my name is Scott Johnson with Pitt Homebuyers. Uh, we're a homebuyer here in Greenville, North Carolina. And I wanted to do a quick video about selling your house as is and what it means. Um, it's not something that's common knowledge uh, when it comes down to the terminology, but I'm just gonna kind of give you a brief synopsis and also talk about some advantages and disadvantages to selling a house as is, okay? So as is means as is. Now I'm not trying to jerk your chain here. It just means that like, let's say I'm selling my property and I'm gonna sell the property as is. What that means is that once the buyer purchases the property and we close on it, then the property will be in the exact same condition that it was in when I showed them the property. So when I sell that property, I'm not going to do anything to it, right? That means I'm not going to clean it up. I'm not going to fix anything. Maybe there's parts of the floor that are falling through or shingles missing on the roof or large cracks in the walls, uh, plumbing issues, electric. It doesn't matter. If I sell a property as is, that means that I am not going to fix any of it and it's all on the person who's buying the property. All right, now, not everyone is going to be comfortable purchasing a property as is. If you really look at the market and the properties that are listed on the MLS, what are buyers really looking for? They're really looking for those properties that are in fantastic condition. You know, they can move right in, maybe do, maybe just, you know, put some paint on the wall to make sure that they have the right colors they want, possibly change out some appliances or kind of get that tile off and you know, put down or land a tile off and put down some really nice ceramic. Uh, but it's all cosmetic stuff, all right? And it's just simple things they can do. When it comes down to selling a house, uh, maybe a house that has foundational issues or windows broken or anything like that, um, you know, that's going to be more of a as-is buyer or a real estate investor who's going to be comfortable taking that on. Right, especially first-time home buyers, they're not going to want to mess with any of that. They want to move in, slap some paint on, maybe some regular maintenance stuff. Right. So let's look at some advantage or disadvantages of selling your house as is. So when you're selling your house as is, it's important to understand that you know those repairs are going to be there for the next buyer. Right. So what that means is that they are going to have to put out the money or the time to be able to fix those items. So what they're going to do in negotiation is they're going to say, okay, there's a foundation issue. Let's say, you know, one of the columns underneath is cracked or it's soft uh, and it's actually sinking into the ground. So the floor is dipping. Well, let's just say random numbers. It's going to take about three to $5,000 to fix it. Well, then I, as the buyer, am going to come in and say, hey, listen, you know, this property's got this floor sag. I know it's going to cost me $3,500 to fix it. I need you to reduce your price so that I have the money to cover that, right? So big disadvantage is that your, price, your house isn't going to sell at full market value if it has a lot of things wrong and you're selling it in as-is condition. See... The value of the property is really in the eye of the beholder. And the people who are purchasing properties in their current condition, they have a good idea on how to you know, take those repairs and say, okay, just give me a cut in the price and I'll take it. So disadvantage, you're going to get less for your property because the money is needed, even after you sell it, the money is absolutely needed to get it up into working or operating condition. So it's got to be, there's got to be a balance there somewhere, right? Um, so a couple of advantages, though, to selling your house as is, I kind of alluded to it a little while ago, is that you don't have to do any of the repairs. I mean, there's really nothing you have to do in general. Uh, so it's really an easy transaction for you, okay? Um, so as is means that you don't have to pick up a hammer, spend time fixing things, or even spend your own money hiring people to fix those items. On top of that, you can 
pro you can expect to not have to uh, wait too long for an inspection to be done because if someone's purchasing the property as is, they may do it just so they can kind of get an easy punch list because sometimes we will. We'll just uh, you know say, hey, listen, we'll buy this property and we're going to buy it as is, but we get an inspection on it because when we do our list, we may have missed something. And the inspector is very thorough as well, uh, especially the one that we use here in Greenville. And so we just say, hey, listen, run through the house, give us a punch list. And that's, that, that's cost out of our pocket, not y'all's, So which, is, which really helps out. Um, so big advantage to selling your property in as-is condition, meaning you sell it without having to do any repairs or anything like that, is that you don't have to waste the time. There's no time that you have to fix everything. There's no time that you have to, you know, get an inspection done. There's no time negotiating on everything. Uh, in fact, when we give cash offers to people for their property, which we do on a daily basis, you know, what we're doing is we know what we have an idea of what's going on. So we can give you a fair cash offer for that property. And if it meets your needs, we can move on to closing. And because there's normally no, like, you know, there's no banks involved because we use our own capital or we have private partners who work with us, then you don't, then there's no wait time with like loans or anything like that. Now I've gone into, a, I've gone into a whole separate topic here, which is the time, but suffice it to say that selling your property as is, we're just going to wrap it up. Disadvantages, you are going to get less for the property because there are repairs that need to be done. Uh, advantage, you, it, it takes a, you don't have to pick up, up a hammer and fix anything and uh, you don't have to spend your own money to fix anything. And it closes faster because you don't have to worry about going through a bank or anything like that and waiting on an inspector most of the time. All right, so if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know. I've got my partner who's telling me I need to uh, let her in. So <laughs> have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.